in order to kick off our testing, uh, let's go ahead here and get the Easy Planner out of the box. All right, we can see here that the Easy Planner has a perfectly sized hole to put in your potted plants. So as we're getting the second one out of the package, uh, you can notice that these kind of have a dragonstone colored uh, paint job to them, uh, which I find quite attractive. So from a pricing perspective, the Easy Planner retails at the Aquarium Co-op for $9.99. Since I'm already using plants that I have already been growing in the fish room, I am going to make a little bit of a, a bottom for this. So what I'm actually going to use is the Aquarium Co-op sponge pad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in the shape of the hole. and then basically cut it in half because I don't need the entire thickness of the sponge. So we're uh, gonna go ahead and put it in here. And then we got the second one in there. So we've got a nice, uh, uh, fairly sturdy bottom. So the plant that I decided to choose for this test was Valisneria. I chose this for a couple reasons. Uh, first of all, this is a pretty thick, tough plant uh, can withstand quite a bit of a beating. And secondly, I have had good luck with this plant uh, with other fish before. I do keep this successfully in my 125 gallon African cichlid tank. Uh, they do pick at it, but all in all, it does do pretty well in there. So, figured a nice, tough, sturdy plant to get started with. So, we're now ready to go ahead and plant our Easy Planter. So, all we're going to need is our Valisneria, some Easy Root Tabs, as well as some gravel. So add a little bit of uh, a little bit of, of gravel. Add some root tabs. Grab a section of Valisneria. And then uh, just basically plant it like you would a house plant, in with the gravel. And uh, there we go. Uh, we've got it all complete pretty much. So let's go ahead and get these put into the tank and see how our test does. All right, we have our easy planters now placed into the tank. Uh, we got them kind of placed towards the front in front of some of the driftwood. And so we'll go ahead and see how these guys do. So you can see they're uh, starting to eye it up a little bit here. Well, you can see the one bit at the uh, at the rock itself, but did not go into the. Uh, obviously, can't get to the plant. So we'll check in over the next couple of days to see how our experiment's doing and if the jungle valve will survive. Uh, the fish seem to have gotten used to the plants being in their surroundings and you know they might pick a little bit at the rock or dig around the rock a little bit but they've been leaving the plants alone 
Um, I sit behind this tank quite a bit in here. Um, so I've been kind of keeping an eye on it. And I've really not seen any attacks on the plants other than that opening salvo uh, a couple hours after we put the uh, plants in. So I would definitely say that this test so far is a success. Uh, obviously, if something changes, I definitely will update the channel with that. So if you're a fan of aquarium plants, but have fish that like to dig in the substrate, I would definitely give these a look. So I definitely would recommend going and checking them out.